What is a deadlock? A deadlock is a situation in which two tasks on either side of a computer system can no longer communicate or progress due to the fact that they are both stuck waiting for resources. In other words, the tasks have deadlocked, unable to move forward without help. This is generally caused when two or more tasks have requested mutually exclusive resources and now cannot move forward because the resources are locked. What are the conditions for a deadlock? In order for a deadlock situation to happen, several conditions must be met. First, multiple tasks must each have resources that are exclusively used by only them, a scenario called mutual exclusion. Second, tasks must hold on to resources even if they do not need them at the moment, an issue called resource holding. Third, tasks must have requests for access to other resources that are currently in the possession of another task the issue of the waiting process, or circular waiting. When all three of these conditions are present, a deadlock occurs. How can we prevent deadlocks? Deadlocks can be prevented by avoiding any combination of the three conditions that lead to deadlocks, mutual exclusion, resource holding, and circular waiting. This can be done through techniques such as locking, resource ordering, and timeout-based approaches. Locking is when the program will lock all locked resources in a predefined order so that only one task can access it at a time. Resource ordering is making sure tasks will always request resources in the same order each time, thus avoiding the issue of circular waits. Finally, timeout-based approaches are having the program automatically timeout after a certain period without responding to requests, thereby avoiding a how can we detect deadlocks? Deadlocks can be detected by looking for cycles in the resource graph of the computer system. This involves analyzing the relationship among all the tasks requesting resources, the resources themselves, and the current state in which they are in. Through this process, we can detect when a task is stuck waiting on a resource that won't be given to it because it is locked by another task, signaling a deadlock. In modern computer systems, Algorithms such as Banker's algorithm are used to detect and resolve deadlocks. How can we recover from deadlocks? Once a deadlock has been detected and identified, there are several ways to recover from it. The most straightforward of these is to simply roll back the current state of the system to its last checking point or running state. This will terminate any stalled tasks and release any locked resources, ending the deadlock. It is also possible to prioritize certain tasks over others, ensuring they move ahead while waiting tasks wait in the background. The final way to handle a deadlock is to manually intervene, breaking the blockers by unblocking any resources being held hostage. What are the challenges with preventing deadlocks? One of the biggest challenges in preventing deadlocks is maintaining the shared resources needs of multiple tasks. There must be a balance between tasks having enough access to keep working, but not so much that they become competitive and begin locking resources. Additionally, some tasks may need exclusive access to certain resources, which can also lead to deadlocks if not taken into account. Finally, deadlocks can also form due to bugs in the code or unforeseen out-of-order conditions. To prevent these issues, lock ordering or timeout-based approaches should be considered to ensure deadlocks are avoided as much as possible. What are the challenges with detecting and recovering from deadlocks? Detecting deadlocks is quite challenging and requires constant monitoring of the resource graph. In addition, recovery can be difficult if there are multiple tasks involved in the deadlock. It is important to identify the root of the deadlock and resolve the issue without impacting other tasks in the system. Finally, manual intervention is always an option but it should be used sparingly, as unexpected circumstances can prevent it from being successful.